Hey, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash, the bonds to the apostles, the bonds to the elders, the great mills, so on, real well. Much respect to you, brothers out there, just preaching his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, Tabernacle, David, Hopeful, Lake, and the Speckled Bird. So, for those that don't know or have already seen, um, Michael K. Williams has passed away. And it's all by the doing of Yahweh Bashim Shah, our Lord, our power. All right. He set it in motion for him to pass away. Now, I did see the post earlier. They said uh, he may have passed away from a, a drug addiction, from ODing. And matter of fact, uh, you can see it. You can see it right here with the drug addiction. You know, uh, like I said, I saw a post earlier saying that his wife said that he OD. And this is what a lot of these uh, celebrities and, and actors are into, man. You know, they got to do a, they got to do with some things, man, to keep their positions in Hollywood. All right, so so they're on all types of drugs and and doing all types of weird stuff behind the scenes that you that the majority of people may not know. You know, they up up lift them, they uphold them as as great people, but you know, especially coming into truth, you know, the Lord has revealed, hey, these these dudes ain't ain't all that, man. You know, to get your fame and, and praise on this side of the earth, it ain't all that, as the scriptures say. This is not a rest, all right? This is not a rest. This place is polluted. So to get a piece of Esau Edom's pie, who is a so-called white man, all right, who rules the earth, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, Job 9 to 24, all right, to get a little piece of his pie, you got to do some wickedness, all right? Let's play a little bit of this, and I got another video I want to play. The former star of The Wire was found deceased in his apartment on Monday, September 6th, and an investigation is ongoing. The New York Police Department confirmed to NBC News. But yeah, yeah, how about Shimei Osai set that up, man? All right. So this would be a warning to our people a hey, repent, or likewise ye shall perish. All right. And let me get, let me, let me, let me get this video right here. All right. Because, hey, us us in the spirit, man, we don't feel sorry for these people out here, all right? Because you had this scene right here. And this is what a lot of these uh, Hollywood entertainers, uh, uh, rappers, this, this is what a lot of them are into. Let's play this video right here, all right? This is from uh, Lovecraft Country, all right? That uh, uh, show was pretty good. But as usual, in Esau Edom's world, you know, people are into that wickedness. He upholds that wickedness, that, that homosexuality. Play this real quick. Ah, damn commercial. I'm not leaving my family. What time is it? It's y'all was getting some scriptures. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> you know, this is what you got to do being in Hollywood. Let's, let's zoom into that. All right. This is what you got to do being in Hollywood, you know. So you pretty much, uh, um, you know, watch the video for yourself. You're going to be dis disgusted, you know. If, if you're in the spirit, if you follow this truth, if you're a true man of the Lord, Hey, you're going to be disgusted. You know, like I said, the show was good, but always in these shows, you got to have witchcraft, <laughs> homosexuality, you know, all, all types of wickedness. But, but you know, being in Hollywood, if you want that money, you got to put put it, <laughs> put that wickedness out. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get some scriptures. Romans, 12, uh, Romans 2 and verse 11. For there is no respect of persons with power. You see that? There's no respect. So you're either going to follow the law, such as commandments, the Yahweh Bashim al to the best of your ability, or likewise perish. All right? 
And we're coming into times where, you know, if our people don't get it, like the ones that don't get it, hey, they through, man. They're going to be asking. They're going to be asking for death in these last days. And as the scriptures say, you know, they're going to seek death and they're not going to find it. The Lord's not going to give these people an easy death. So the Lord is great and terrible. Matter of fact, this is uh, Isaiah 45 and 7. This is the Lord talking. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. The Lord do this. As you go to Proverbs 11 and 1, a false balance is the abomination to Yahweh our power. All right? So you got these people out here preaching that the Lord's all love, hugs, and kisses. No, the Lord deals with balance. Look at the animal kingdom. It's balance. Look at the weather. All right? How it rains and and the sun comes out. Hey, everything's in balance. But through Esau Edom, of course, with his weather technology, <laughs> he got everything out of whack. You know, he, hey, he got the animals out of whack. The people's out of whack. Once again, Job 9 to 24, the earth is getting into the head given into the hands of the wicked so everything everything down here is out of whack is out of order and that's why the lord sent his men of the lord out there to preach this word preach the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom and through yahweh shai and the men of the lord this place is going to get <laughs> it's going to do a, a it's going to uh, uh, do a 360 man Let's get this. This is uh, Nehemiah 1 and 5. And said, I beseech thee, O Yahweh, power of heaven, the great and terrible power that keepeth commandment and mercy for them. Check this. And mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. Now, what's this dude loving the Lord and, and, and observing his commandments? As you see right here, you know, the dude can clearly grow a beard. You've seen the pictures. He can clearly grow a beard. So he's shaving his beard. He's uh, putting out that vibration for our people to be homosexuals, you know, because this is the M.O. of Esau Edom, you know. He knows that Yahweh Shemel Shai is our power. For this man to stay in power, Esau Edom, so-called white man to stay in power, he got to keep us, keep our people down under this vibration, not knowing that there is a light, not knowing their power, following these, this homosexual vibration, all right? He puts our people on the forefront of that. But, hey, it's uh, hey, another person passed away. Hey, that's, that's the doing of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. But anyways, you know, hey, these times were prophesied that a great, <laughs> exceedingly great army would rise through the name of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, that we would come out, out of our uh, uh, dry bones and start preaching his word. Let's get this. This is Psalms 37 and 28. For the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. You see that? He loveth judgment. So these people that pass away, all right, little kooky and, and all them, you know, uh, all these people that pass away, the Lord set that in motion. Somebody died from a horrible, horrible uh, 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 car accident or whatever, fall out of a plane or something, and the Lord orchestrated that. He loveth judgment. And it says, forsake it not his saints. So you're doing the will of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. First and foremost, you got to be Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, American. So-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and our people scatter, scatter abroad. That's able to receive this truth. All right, the Lord's not going to forsake you if you're keeping the law and such commandments to the best of your ability. You're a man, you're out there preaching his word. Let's see. Um... They are preserved forever. This man wasn't preserved. This man was prescribed death. You know, his Percocets, uh, uh, OD. He was prescribed death. All right. But hey, even when the saints, you know, even on this side, when the saints die, hey, at least they die for the Lord. At least they're going to still get beamed up and see the reward of the wicked. All right. Whether you live or die, you in this truth. You're going to see the reward of the wicked if you endure to the end. All right. Um, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. Who's the seed of the wicked? That's Esau Edom. All right. The man that's putting out this wicked vibration for our people to follow. He's going to be cut off. 
is Isaiah 1 and 9, except the Lord Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah of hosts had left us, left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. You see that? And what was Sodom and Gomorrah into? All types of wickedness, man. Homosexuality. All right? Hey, to the point that these little children were into it. Talking about a wicked kingdom. And the Lord threw that down. And the Lord's going to throw down this wicked ass kingdom. All right? So the Lord has, has a small sect of men. All right? The elect. All right? Starting with the men. And then. Uh, uh, the men, women, and children after that, all right, that's, that's, that's not into this wickedness, all right? That small remnant, the Lord only needs a remnant. The Lord's only calling back a remnant. As Leviticus 20 and 13, if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed abomination. You see that? Check this. And they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. All right, but in this kingdom, it's upholding. But guess what? This law is going to come <laughs> into full effect very, very soon, especially when we're in a kingdom. So all that's walking, all them people that's walking in, in pride. Hey, judgment is coming to these people out here. Deuteronomy 23 and verse 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. And this kingdom promotes that. Nor Sodomite of the sons of Israel. And once again, this king, this queendom promotes that. This queendom is contrary to the laws of Yahweh Shemel Shai. The laws are slack in this land. Alright? And that's why the earth is yearning for new rulership. This is Proverbs 16 and 29. A violent man enticing his neighbor. Who's that violent man? That's Esau Edom. All right, he's been given the blessing of the sword. And he's the violent man, and he entices his neighbor. He entices our people and these other nations. And so you got these other nations and our people falling after his wicked ways. And lead him into the way that is not good. All right, look, look at that, man. You're looking at him like, what the hell? Like, like. <laughs> it's a hey, hey you you would that's a good shot right there hold on hold on it's like yeah like i said y'all y'all can watch this in y'all on time but yeah you you gonna look at this dude like what the hell man matter of fact i got i gotta take a screenshot of that <laughs> you're looking at this dude like what the hell you know but anyways um this is Proverbs 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Who's the oppressor? Once again, that's Esau, Edom. And choose none of his ways. You're not supposed to envy him. So you see how people out there having the blonde head and want to put in the blue eyes. You know, uh, uh, they want to lighten up their skin. They want to look like this dude. All right. And, and being in Hollywood. All right. They want to um, slack you. They may not want to, but hey, they, you know, to keep their position, they got to follow this uh, uh, man's ways. And and we're coming into time where the Lord, hey, the Lord ain't playing with, around with these people, man. That's why you're seeing judgment pouring out on the house of Israel. This is Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You see that? The way thereof, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You see that? Death. If you're not following Yahweh Shemel Shah, you're not following man of the Lord, you're not doing what Yahweh Shemel Shah is telling you to do, your end is death. All right? This is uh, Proverbs 3. And 35, I think I'm going to end it right here. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. All right, the wise, the prudent man, they're out there on the highways and byways preaching his word. All right, hey, Lord, when we of those men, we're going to inherit glory. But for Esau, Edom, and the wicked for our people, 
all right, shame is going to be upon them, all right? So, Lord, when it's edifying, when you give all praises, going on and to Yahweh, by Shem Yosah, by Shem Kadash, why a Baal, someone 